Hello, my Jello babies. 안녕하세요. This is Ava from Glow with Ava, and welcome to my Best of Beauty 2021 picks. This year is going to be a little different than my last year's Best of Beauty picks, just because the world's been opening up more. I've been seeing a lot more people, and by that nature, I've been playing around with a lot more makeup. And don't get me wrong, I'm still the queen of doing the best natural, everyday, no makeup makeup look. A slight touch of very natural glam. But today I wanted to kind of dive into some of the products that I have been literally reaching for every single day to do my no makeup makeup looks. So just like all of my best of series videos, these are all beauty products that I tried for the first time in 2021. So not nececessarily my best holy grail beauty products of all time, but still products that made a very deep lasting impression on me. And I also try to pick a few categories from each category of makeup. So with that, let's start. And the first category is primer. And I actually only have one primer for you guys and it's just like the best of the best. This is a new one that I just got during the Sephora sale. It is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And I wanna say I've been using this way before this became trendy on TikTok. And I just found out that this has been like really trending on TikTok now, but this is the makeup primer that I actually used for my wedding day. So on that day, I got up at like 4 a.m. and started my makeup at 6 a.m. on the dot and had my makeup literally last all day and all night. And the reason for that is this primer. This primer not only helps your makeup last longer, but it does have a very hydrating grip to it, so it's not gonna feel sticky, but it literally grips onto the next foundation or coverage products to come in the most weightless way. And we have a tinted sunscreen. So this product is the Say Sun Visor, and I was actually debating if I should put it into this video or my best of sunscreens video, but for me, I see this still as more of a beauty product for me than a sunscreen. So it does have SPF 35, but what I like about this product and say as a brand in general is just the um, brand philosophy. And I think that their brand philosophy and their products really resonate well with me because it's all about nat enhancing your natural skin and your natural beauty. So with Sun Visor, it is categorized as like more of a sunscreen with SPF 35, but it does have a little bit nice tint curly sheen to it that kind of blurs out your imperfections while giving you the sunscreen protection. So for me, I still view this as a very lightweight, like tinted moisturizer that has um, an SPF in it. So it's a hard product to categorize because it's not a tinted moisturizer, it's not a sunscreen, it's not a BB cream, it's not a foundation, it's not a primer, but it kind of does everything at once in a way. And for days when you just are running to a yoga class, going to Trader Joe's early in the morning, but may run into someone, this is the product that you're gonna wanna go for and be like, oh, I just woke up like this with a pearly nice sheen. That is this product just to enhance your already existing natural beauty by giving a very nice sheen to it. Then I have another one that kind of falls into a similar category as the sun visor where it can do all five things at once is this Decorte Sheer Brilliance. Um, this one also has an SPF of 32, but still I don't consider this a sunscreen at all. So this one's interesting because the, the coverage that you get from this is as high as you what you would get from a typical foundation or a BB cream, right? And it also has the SPF but it doesn't have that kind of like foundation, like sticky texture like you would get with a BB cream. You know that because in order for you to use this well, you really have to give it a nice little shape because it's very liquid in here. And then you dispense out a product that almost feels like a tinted sunscreen, but a little bit more watery on that end. So use it however you like, but with this one, the natural finish and luminosity I get is on a next level and kind of is the reason why this is at a whopping price of $95. But for me, I love this product so, so, so much that $95 is 100% worth it for me. So on days when I want to get the SPF coverage, but really nice coverage, the luminosity, 
all of that. This is like the product that kind of like does it all. It is the queen of all of the base products that I'm talking about today. And another pretty luxurious base product I have is the Sisley Hydra Tint. This one was actually included in my Best of Tinted Moisturizers video. So this is truly a tinted moisturizer. It doesn't have much of the SPF coverage. It does have a little bit of titanium dioxide that gives you a, not even a white cast, a very small bit of like whiteness when you first apply it but dissipates very quickly and you know disperses and spreads really nicely onto your skin this is a skincare and makeup really in one it has amazing skincare ingredients that are infused but gives you the most luxurious feeling so if you want to see more details on this i would highly recommend you go see my tinted moisturizers video because that is my top five tinted moisturizers of all time and this one definitely made the list this as the name implies completely beautifies your skin in the most luxurious way. It's got a very soft, velvety finish. And the best way to apply this, in my opinion, is literally your fingers. You just have to blend it. It almost feels like a moisturizer with how hydrating this um, is too. And if you're new to this channel, you'll find out that I'm very much into the base products because I want beauty products that just enhance my natural skin. So obviously skin first, but I want beauty products that can help illuminate my complexion further. That's why I feel like a good base product goes a very long way. And with that, you just want to add a little bit more dimension into it and then play with a color. So that's my philosophy when it comes to makeup. I want to set the tone and cover with very light, minimal coverage base. Then I want to contour by adding some more dimension into it. Then lastly, I want to play with some colors with an eyeshadow and blush and lipstick. But then that combination will still give you a very effortless, natural looking makeup look. That's why I want to discuss the next base product is this one from Lawless. I don't really wear that much foundation. But this one really did impress me because this, I feel like, is not like your true heavy duty foundation. Still very much light. And once again, you also have to like shake this very watery consistency when it comes out. And the thing I was impressed by the most with this one is how easy it is to layer on and build up the coverage. So if you just want something that is super super light, almost the level of what you would get with the say sun visor or even like the Sisley. You just have to apply one layer with a brush that it comes with and it gives you a very nice like complexion. But if you want to add on like two, three more layers to build a more of like that heavy duty concealer like foundation, you can easily do that, but it still won't look cakey on your skin. And also you have to get the brush that the foundation comes with because as you can see, it doesn't look like a foundation brush. It looks more like a contour, like a blush brush. I use it for both, but with this one, you get the nice like effortless coverage with this just because of how liquidy this foundation can come out to. And then from there, you can build up the coverage. I tend to like to mix the two different shades with this one um, to add a little bit more dimension to my skin tone. Okay, so that's the base product in the liquid formulas. And then I have two cushion foundations I want to introduce you to. So cushion foundations, if you guys are new, is like the biggest innovation in Korea. Every single South Korean will have at least like two, three cushion foundations. So I'm always looking for like the next best one. And I was actually in Korea this fall to try out so many different cushions. And the two that definitely made my list is the first one, the Hera Black Cushion. So this one has a reformulated, but even the previous one was so hard to get your hands on. My mom, my mom tried to get like the hair black cushion multiple times and it was hard to find her exact shape. I finally got my hands on it and Jenny from Blackpink is actually the ambassador for it. So this one um, is definitely more of a high coverage cushion. And for me, I tend to stay away from cushions that are like way too high coverage because I personally don't like that. It can look a little cakey, but with the new formulation with the black cushion, it is high coverage, but it is easily adjustable and also buildable too. So it's almost to the point where you can just carry this around in your purse, put this on as your first layer throughout the day, layer it on, layer it on, only spot check around where you have a little bit more acne spots that you want to cover. And it's completely 
flawless. This also has SPF 34, PA 3 plus. It's just like every cushion foundation does. I love the fact that you can reapply your sunscreen throughout the day with the power of cushions. The puff that it comes with is actually not that bad either. Usually I like to use um, a different brush to apply my cushion foundations, but this puff is you know antimicrobial. It's super soft and is able to get to the creases of your nose and different points of your face too. But if you don't want something that is like too high coverage, then another one that I have is from Amuse. This is their newest launch. It literally just launched last um, month in November. It is their Dew Jelly Cushion. And I got to meet the CEO of Amuse and she's explained to me the formulations behind this and how it was made. And the formula that was made from is actually from like a little jello cushiony um, formula to the point where when you apply this, it is so plumping on your skin, gives you a natural glow, but very low coverage. So this is for people who want something like the Say Sun Visor. You want very light coverage, but gives you instant radiance and luminosity to your face. So personally for me, this is the one that I reach out more than the hair block because I just want something very, very light, has the SPF 50 in it to protect my skin too amazing i also got one for my mom too and she first of all is a fan of their um, foundation so much and for her she even likes to put this on top of her like foundation to give that like dewy glow so because of this is such a nice like non-tacky glow factor in it you can even use it as like your highlighter on certain parts so different ways to use it very multifaceted but this is one that i'm going to be using for a very long time and i forgot to mention amuse is changing all of their formulas to become vegan so this one is of course is vegan but like everything is going to become vegan too. Last coverage item is this concealer from Rose Inc. This is a um, new makeup brand launched by Rosie Huntington. Packaging is stunning and out of all the products I've tried, very, very impressed, especially with their makeup items. This concealer is a wow. I'm usually not that impressed by concealers. If you guys know, I just keep using the same concealers over and over again. I love the Kosas one. This one is on another level. It is definitely more covered than the Kosas one. The bristle is also amazing. It's got this fluffiness that helps you give adequate um, cover without overwhelming your skin. It doesn't crease. I just put a little bit of translucent powder under my eyes after using this and it's going to last and cover up even the darkest of the dark circles. I freaking love this. And on days when I just want a nice kind of dimension kind of cover up, then I'll use like the dew jelly or a tinted sunscreen and then just spot um, cover with this concealer and Voila, that's all I need to do. That is the first part of my makeup. Now we move on to the second part of my makeup philosophy, which is to give some shape and dimension, and that's possible with bronzers. The iconic Chanel bronzer. I don't know how I've never tried this bronzer until this year, but I will never go back. This is the bronzer I use for my wedding day, for my cheeks and my eyeshadow. It is so multi purpose and this pot i've literally used this so much and i still hardly made a dent in this and the way i use it is i typically use the chanel brush this is typically like a, um, a foundation brush but i like to swirl it in here and then give a nice contour and this one will last all day doesn't give you that kind of cakey feeling like a lot of bronzers too with a lot of powder bronzers i am a little bit careful because it does have that fallout too which is why sometimes especially in the summer i like relying on the cream bronzers this one gives you the most subtle kind of definition doesn't make you look like you just had like put on a ton of bronzer to the point where if you just have like a little bit of a streak no one will really know it just kind of looks like your you know natural cheekbones and jawline if you put a little bit on this it's very easy to kind of build up coverage and control your power over this very easy for people who don't know how to use makeup to use as well and i think this list today was easy to um, come up with just by remembering what i brought to korea for like a month-long trip if there is a makeup product you're bringing on a month-long trip then you know that is your holy grail this hourglass palette definitely brought it with me it was the first thing i packed and then my mom fell in love with it so she took it from me actually so i got another one from the brand this is their new holiday collection palette and i feel like hourglass always just 
does such a stellar job in formulating their holiday packaging. Last year's was great too, but this year they went over the line and formulated the most gorgeous quad of a palette. I don't know how they got the color perfectly down to the spot because every single color just blends so well and multi-purpose. So for example, I can use any of the shades for my eyes. I can use all three of these as blush too. And depending on where you put it, it's going to blend seamlessly with the, all of the other colors that you're playing with. Definitely a palette of my dreams and I'm going to be using forever. If this ever gets discontinued, I'm going to be very, very, very sad. Speaking of blushes, Next blush is the Westman Atelier blush slash highlighter. This is called the Tinted Highlight. So however way you want to use this, you can use it as your blush, your eye makeup, or your highlighter. But Westman Atelier is like one of the brands that really comes from experience. It's not a brand that just has like the marketing fools where you produce a product, sell it out, right? And you can really feel that this product comes from experience from using it, right? It's a brand that you want to keep going to, keep going to because of how good the formulas is, how long lasting it is, how awake and radiant your skin can look with this. It truly is like enhancing your natural skin. So last year, my Best of Beauty 2020 picks, I included their Lit Up Stick, which I still to this day absolutely adore. Um, but this one is a new one that I tried this year. It's not a cream, it's not a powder, but it's the right in between a cream and a powder. Never come across a formula that can do this so perfectly. It's got the most like soft touch that I can use kind of like over here as a blush. Extremely subtle if you want to use it as a blush, but you can pull that up to use it as a highlighter and it's going to give you a very natural flushed look and also give you a lot more dimension to play with and it hits just the right lights and i love it when a blush has a little bit of like a pearly sheen that can also give you that natural glow from with it without it looking too tacky and this is like the perfect formula that will never ever make you look cakey at all completely silicone free all the ingredients that are in here is also good for the skin so i'm always looking for beauty products that can actually help my skin at the same time. So that's why for me, Westman Atelier is a brand that I'm going to be using for such a long time because it's very hard to find a product that can perfect both sides of the world so perfectly. Next, we have a highlighter, which is ta -da, the Mac and Lisa collection. I was so beyond excited for this collection just because I love Lisa so much. And I think this is a wonderful collab that they did. And I heard about the story of how she put her thoughts into each of the formulas, the names that she put in. So each of the palettes and the lipsticks names are also like so her. Um, but out of all the products that I tried, first of all, their lipsticks are so good. But I did really want to highlight this one because this is a highlighter that made a lasting impression. This is like a peachy pink kind of shade, very, very unique. So not just your standard like highlighter, but something that has a little bit of sheen in it that gives you like the most amazing, amazing glow. Even like the whole packaging in here is so gorgeous. Next highlighter stick is this um, one from Chanel. It's not necessarily like a highlighter in my opinion. It's like a nice balm that I started using it on my lips and that's when things just changed for me. I applied under my lips, I applied it around my laugh lines and by doing that, my makeup just looked a lot more natural. My lipstick was shining too without having that thick layer of lip balm or lip gloss um, under it. This just gives a natural, natural sheen and I do have it in different shades. I have the transparent one and I bought this in Korea last year, remember? Got it for my mom too. And both of us are always like, okay, we gotta do this for our laugh lines, our wrinkles before applying any makeup and it completely smoothens out your makeup too. Eyeshadow, another favorite from Hourglass. They launched this Curator Eye Palette this year and I'm so, so, so here for it. I love the process of like picking out different shades for my eyes. So it's just like an overall very fun um, process for you to go through. And you guys know each of Hourglass's eye products, like I feel like the formulations just get it perfectly right. So I just love my neutrals as per usual. So I have like four different shades of 
brown so i like to use these as a base a little bit for like a little bit more color with the browns and then i added one pop just one just like who i am and i added some blue just because i love using some blues for my eyes um whenever i want it so this is another one that i just love traveling with because i use the browns for every day and if i want a little bit of pop at night i can just go in with a little bit of blue on top of the existing makeup their pigmentation is so great um it's better than any other eyeshadow pigment that i've experienced very easy to kind of like play around with and it lasts a very long time no fallout no creases whatsoever then for brows i have one brow product for you it's from kimiko beauty this is a brand um founded by makeup artist danielle she is the makeup artist for sandra o oh exclusively and she spent so many years perfecting a brow formula she's actually half japanese and she formulated these products in japan a lot of time and effort went into perfecting the colors behind it because as a makeup artist it was always hard for her to find the right color for her clients and she always had to like mix different colors and by doing that she finally found the perfect brow formula and the product so i have it in black tea and just like the name itself is so perfect not black not gray but black tea it's got a very muted subtle kind of brown that when you apply it it's not going to look ridiculous it's not going to look too strong just the right amount of subtlety that you want in a brow product and even this one this brow pencil they have a lot of skincare elements that help to you know help your brow grow too so this kind of replaces like my brow serum and the way this looks it's so thin so fragile looking but it is able to kind of recreate every single brow flick so it's not like the glossier brow flick where it just like is very hard to use and looks unnatural this one if you use it literally mimics your brow natural brows and it just makes it so much better enhancing what you already have completely in with my makeup philosophy and after using this then i go in with their brow styler to kind of like uh, make sure that is completely in and this one once again has like brow serum like elements i'm so proud of her there is no other brow product that can actually mimic your exact brows in the such an easy way to use now we have mascara this is the ilia fullest volumizing mascara i have a full video on this mascara on my youtube channel if you want to see more on how this actually does for my asian lashes go check that video out because i do a full tutorial on how i use it but this one really wowed me and whenever i want to just like not wear any eyeshadow just want to go out with a full mascara this is my one to go and i use it along with the other um, limitless mascara from ilia last we have lip products this one is a like one that i actually did a campaign for and that's how i got introduced to it this is the armani lips and they have so many different shades of red you guys know i love my red lipsticks but with this one unlike a typical lipstick it just glides on it almost feels like a tinted lip balm in a sense with the most amount of pigment the pigment is not going to go anywhere you can eat your burgers smoothies yogurt whatever you want and i assure you this is still going to last it is mask proof it's not going to smudge on your mask um, as much and even after wearing your mask and eating you're still going to have your red lips that's how much i love this this is always 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 in my makeup bag too i say the best for the last the herme lipsticks so I love getting the seasonal ones, the limited edition ones, because I know next year I'm not going to be able to get it. So I got the summer one, which is like a beautiful orangey coral lipstick. I can't find it right now, but this one is part of their winter one and has more of like that pumpkin-y kind of red, orange pumpkin, and um, perfectly matches my shirt right now. It's actually just something that I'm like adoring lately. It's my favorite winter lipstick to use when you don't want to go for the full red but want something slightly muted but still gives a little bit of warmth to your entire face i found that Hermes lipsticks are amazing they last a long time so i'm probably gonna get a lipstick for each season they have going forward i'll, I'll let you know if i ever get the non-limited edition just because i'm such a sucker for limited edition things but this one even the packaging is so great if you use it up you can get the refillable one and put it and save the packaging too Okay, I talked forever, guys, but 
that was it for my best of beauty picks for 2021 thank you so much each and every one of you jello babies for sticking around with me and trusting me with my recommendations if you want to see more of my best of series go to my youtube channel i have one for skincare beauty hair makeup and just one in general so thank you once again happy holidays everyone and i cannot wait to see all of your beautiful faces in 2022 happy new year guys